What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to draw basically like the method I use every time I'm finna start a picture. So without further ado, Let's jump right into this video. Okay, the first thing I do is I set my pen pressure. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all wondering what brush I use, it's no certain type of brush I use. I just set the pressure. I just come up right here. Click new brush. Click OK. Go to pressure. And I change these two bottom numbers to three. And then I end up this little brush right here the brush y'all see me use on every video but to get it to look like that you know what I'm saying I press light then I press hard in the center then I come out light. you know what I'm saying so to give you that effect but okay now that we got our brush set first thing I do is I drop the opacity I mean drop I change the color to like a, a bright pinkish color and then I drop the opacity on the brush so we can start out with our sketch. You know what I'm saying? So after we did that, anything I'm drawing sometimes, like if I'm drawing, just say if I'm drawing like a, a dog or something, or if it's a certain type of dog, if I'm drawing a pit bull, I go to Google and I download different images of that dog. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm creating my own, I have a a good layout of a good perspective of how it's supposed to look you know what I'm saying before I start going off my own imagination so right now I'm finna draw a military character so what I did was I went to Google and I just downloaded a whole bunch of army pictures and I you know what I'm saying just to get different looks or how they dress and what type of facial expressions they have, how how they hold a weapon. So I won't be too far off when I'm creating my own character. I downloaded some pictures of different weapons. You know what I'm saying? So what I, when I'm drawing my picture, it'll kind of all make sense. You know what I'm saying? So after you do that, you when you when you drawing, you don't want to start out like trying to go ahead and draw the picture you know what I'm saying like you want to start out with a with a nice sketch a blueprint you know what I'm saying so it ain't got to be too perfect it can just be just good enough where you can get a feel of how everything gonna look so every time I'm starting out with a sketch I really don't commit too much or take my time with it because I don't know what I'm if I want to keep it or not I want to be fast with everything and you don't want to get too attached when you're working on the sketch so don't take your time with it so you won't be hesitating when it's time to erase or when you think something's off so Highlight everything, kind of shape it a little bit. Now what we finna do, we finna create another layer, 
Why details? So, I'm gonna lock this layer, create a new layer. Select the color black. Now it's time to make the clean lines. Okay, now that we finished with our line work, first thing you want to do, you want to come to it. You want to highlight everything together. You want to go to object, expand appearance. Then you want to go to your pathfinder and click merge to make all the lines one. After you do that, if you drew your line work with your mouse, you want to go to object expand then you'll get an option all you got to do is click OK and then hit uh, merge on your pathfinder okay after we made our line work one we'll come down make a copy of it lock the top layer then you want to get you a good base color to start with I'm gonna start with green You want to come to your rectangle tool, then you want to drag that color over the entire picture. Switch to make this color medium. Okay. After you do that, you want to right click the color, go to arrange, and send to back. And you'll know if you did this step right if you look over here at your layers and you'll see a line work on top of the color. After you do that, you want to click off of it, select, highlight everything, 
and then you want to click merge on your pathfinder you want to right click onto the color click isolate select group and now we can change colors that's separated the spaces that's closed off we can change colors so change this to orange Another thing I do too is to keep from selecting my black line work, you know what I'm saying? Like while I'm coloring, I click this drop down menu, then I click it again, and I stroll down to the last black layer, and I lock all the black line work by strolling up. keep these top two unlocked and then I close it. so now it only will let me select inside the, the areas it won't let me mess with the line work you know what I'm saying so I don't make no mistake so now I can just go back to isolate select group Finish making my changes. And after you lock all your black lines, it's just make it make it easier. 